Hello and welcome to module 13, video three. So hopefully this is our last video in configuring the enterprise network with a wireless LAN controller. All right, so we're left off right here. So please go into uh, the wireless LAN controller and I want you to click on the WLANs, click on advanced under AP groups. All right, and uh, Make this big enough so you don't have to keep scrolling down and up. Just expand the window. Um, let's click on the faculty group to verify. I think we did it on the last time. We need and click. We need to add the WADLAN to it. So if you don't have this when Ella, uh, WLAN SSID, so just click on Add New and Add It. But we're going to do it for the um, for the students. So click on Back, click on Students, the group Students. And we're going to add them now. Click on WLAN, click on Add New, and Students is the AP, okay? And um, we are going to add it for students, right? So that's been added. Apply. And let's go back to the WLANs. And now we got that. And we go back. And now we should be okay. Now, if you minimize this, and if you hover over land one without touching it, you'll see that students providing, this is to students. This is also providing one land to students as well, the students AP. And this one is to the faculty AP. So anybody connects here, students can connect to these two APs, and the faculty can connect to this AP. So let's add some devices and devices so let's add um, a smartphone let's put that over here somewhere and let's add a tablet and maybe another smartphone right doesn't have to be pcs okay click on the first smartphone all right and you go to config Double click on wireless. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. All right. Let's send it to what's the SSID? It's students. I'm sorry, in here. So type students. Okay. And I remember we did the WPA2 PSK and they need a passphrase. Remember, it's I love networking, all one word with a capital I. I love net working okay and then you need to toggle to get it to have it get an ip address from that access point so toggle static and wait a second or two back to dhcp and hopefully you'll get an ip address from the access point and um it's taken too long and you're supposed to be getting let's toggle again and see what happens you're supposed to be getting an IP address. There you, nope. Let me toggle. All right, so let me, let's see if this, let's see if this, we connect this guy to, um, let's go to config. And Let's see, we connect this to faculty. Let's see what's not doing it. Faculty, we don't have any authentication, right? So we should be able to, this packet tracer is not behaving lately. We should be able to connect without any problems here. Nope. All right, let me go troubleshoot and I'll be back. All right, sorry about that. The SSID was students AP, if you remember. I'm just writing students. So if you hover around here, you'll see that it's the providing WLAN is students AP. All right, so let's get this tablet also to faculty AP, let's say, right? And um, let's see how that would work with a lowercase faculty if i'm not mistaken right faculty ap nope this one didn't 
Stack of Tracer is not fun. I got to be honest with you. So you know what we're going to do if it doesn't work. All right. So what we'll do is we'll turn it off. We'll start all over again. Turn it back on. And I'm going to write uh, Stack C AP, right? And we're going to try again. There you go. Bingo. Picked it up. Beautiful. All right. And now let's do this one to students AP. Go to config. And we'll go to wireless. And um, let's connect it to students AP. All right. And click on the WPA2 PSK. And I love that working right and let's try to see if you can get an ip address from this guy so toggle between static and dhcp and bingo you got the 108 and now they are all connected so this guy is connected to this access point this guy is connected to that access point more students can actually connect to here as well if they want to because this is also the students ap and now they can ping each other right so let me ping this guy got 108 and this guy got 105 so let me ping and he got the cell 4g now connection too you see that all right so if i go here and if i go to desktop and if i ping uh 192.168.10.108 that's his friend on the other side, and they can reach each other, right? Um, let me see. So that's good. Let me see if they can reach the tablet, the faculty tablet. And uh, he's 107. So hit the upper arrow key. And let's see if he can reach 107. And he can reach 107 so they can talk to each other, right? But they're in different lands. And therefore, the wireless controller now, this is pretty much you can do it. Now, this is a package. We, we ran into a few glitches, but this is basically what you need to do. Um, everybody has to be on the same local area network. So you can leave them. If you have a switch that you're not using, six, seven port switch, you know, just connect them all. Leave it in VLAN 1. You don't have to create that VLAN 99. Um, and that's basically how you do it. Just connect in here first. Configure the static IP, pump it in here into the switch, set up a DHCP server. By the way, the DHCP server could be your router, right? And could be for VLAN 99 like we did with router on the stick or, or layer 3 switch. And you can have a whole bunch of wired LAN. So these devices can go into the wired LAN, be routed, and get into the wired LAN and do whatever they need to do, just like we do in our at our school. So you can connect to the X connect through the, your access. I connect as a faculty to the <coughs> access point. It could be any of these access points too. You can add the group students and faculty to all three of them, right? And I can get to wherever I need to go to and you guys can go wherever you need to go to, to the wired LAN through a, maybe a wireless router and the DHCP server. You no, know, you could have a DHCP server or the router act as a DHCP server. Um, it's preferably that you have a standalone DHCP server. Um, if you have a lot of users, if you have small network, um, you can have your router do that or a layer three switch as we've discussed before. All right, so I know this is, I thought that this was gonna be a little bit short that last video, but that's okay. At least you can go through this. It's probably a good idea. I went through this, so, um, these are the commands that you would do to set up a whole wireless LAN controller for an enterprise network. So although I'm not asking you to do this, but please type this up and keep it for your notes. So if you ever need to set up um, an enterprise network wireless LAN with access points, you can do that. Now, remember, the access points should be deployed in a strategic manner where you can cover more area. You don't want to put them next to each other, of course right and uh, the wireless controller takes care of all of that for you 
All right, so save this, and um, that will end chapter 13 for us, and we'll move on to chapter 14. All right, please read the chapter. There are excellent videos, by the way, in there. So uh, please just watch the videos. You don't have to do anything. They're very good videos, and they go over all of what we've done today and maybe in a little bit more details. But at least if you've done this, when you're listening to the video, it's going to make more sense. All right? It's just videos. Most of them are videos in Chapter 13. All right, anyway, I'll see you guys on the next chapter. Don't forget to submit the packet tracer as homework.